This is your Lead Left podcast for the week of July 29th. I'm Randy Schwimmer. Welcome back. As the leveraged loan market woke up this past January, as confidence in the economy and rate expectations grew, so the CLO market has rebounded. Not just in the U.S., as we detailed last week, but in Europe as well. Our friends at Credit Flux highlighted this phenomenon, quoting one leading manager as saying, quote, Given the number of CLO issuances year to date, we see 2024 breaking records for gross new issue volumes in Europe. As our chart of the week shows, European issuance year to date totals about 27 billion euro in 2024, almost double 23's 15 billion activity per pitch book LCD. Contrast that with the US issuance of about $115 billion and $60 billion, respectively, for this year and last. From a pricing perspective, both US and Europe have seen the cost of AAA liabilities come down in the same way loan spreads have compressed. Recent European vehicles have been issued at their tights, slightly below 130 basis points, with their US counterparts a bit above that. The refinancing and repricing dynamic we covered in the U.S. CLO issuance last week happens in Europe. While overall volume is at record high levels, activity net of liquidations and amortizations is not as exuberant. Pitchbook quoted B of A, saying triple A net supply has remained positive in both quarters, unlike in the U.S. where triple A net supply was negative in the second quarter. Turning to the U.S. middle market, Private credit CLO issuance is expected to stay on record pace again this year. Year Year-to-date issuance of middle market private credit deals totaled $21 billion, roughly 77% ahead of the same period in 23. 2024 middle market private credit issuance is forecast to end up somewhere between 35 to 40 billion. A large portion of the growth in CLOs is the common practice of private credit asset managers issuing CLOs out of managed funds, including BDCs. Recent mid-cap prints have been in the low 170 context, demonstrating continued interest in the space. This level represents a 30 to 40 basis point discount from AAA pricing at the start of the year. From a risk perspective, CLO defaults are rare. No AAA tranche in either U.S. or European CLOs has ever defaulted. The historical default rate for all CELO tranches is just 0.11% and none occurred post-GFC until 21. Then only after portfolios have been partially weakened from loan credit quality issues emerging during the pandemic. In a similar vein, Barclays analysts reported that BSL CELO exposure to S&P-related C assets dipped month over month. The median exposure fell to 6.2% in July from 6.5% in June. Only 27% of CLOs have in excess of 7.5% triple C or below rated assets, compared to 33% in June, according to Barclays. Reporting from the global headquarters of the Lead Left, this is Randy Schwimmer, wishing you and your families a safe and healthy week.